quarters of a century ago, the Argentine Papa still lay virtually unfenced, the free preserve of those free spirits who for many generations had called it their own, the gauchos. As a special breed of men, answering only to their own laws and codes, the gauchos have vanished. The Papa they knew is fenced and cultivated. The lean cattle they herded have been replaced by the blooded stock of modern Argentina. But the memory of the gauchos still lives, enshrined forever in the heart of a great nation. Did you ride all this way to meet me? You think we'd let you come home with this hearse? We brought your father's stallion so you can ride to your stancy as the gaucho should. Your Honor. Oh, you shouldn't have troubled. And if Fiesta troubles a gaucho, it's time to bury him. Go on, show them a the real Malambo. Let me present you to my guest. This is Martin Peñalosa, a gaucho of gauchos. Oh. To get the most out of an asado, Captain, you should cut it pampa fashion. On that. Show him, Martin. But be careful not to cut off your nose, city fashion. <laughs> this official from the town, he's a friend of yours? The Garcias brought him. Your father would have set the dogs on him as soon as he showed his face at the gate. He is our guest, Martin. I'm sorry, Patron. Brother. Brother. Is he really your brother? No, but uh, my father looked on him as another son. We learned our letters together from the priest. And old Florencio taught us the arts of the pampa. To our new patron. Help and oh, help. help. The Patron. Long life. Brutus. No, Martin. He is a bad one. Good or bad? He drinks to the Patron today. I drink when I please. Then please now. I took work on this estancia because I heard the old Patron was gaucho. Well, he's dead. And this is his son. Even the strongest bulls get sickly calves. I drink to no running dog for the city men. You see me drink to him? Be a dog's dog if you like. You know so much of dogs being born of them? Good. I will make him a pass apology. Enough!
You there. Martine. Give me the knife. It was a fair fight. Fair or not, they know the law. You did know it, brother. Yes, I knew it. I'll do what I can for you. On the trail, on the trail, I come from the south. My girl has no shoes, but honey in her mouth. On the trail, on the trail, your mother keeps. Is that the only song you know? So you have got a tongue in your head after all. I've had nothing to say. You don't have to talk. We all know why you're here. They say it was a good fight. I fought to mark him not to kill. He made me kill him. Bad luck, brother. You know how the police got me? Probably heard you play the guitar. I've knifed a man for saying less. But if you think you can do any better... interfered even if I had wanted to. And only a month ago, your father died. And he would have prevented your arrest? Ask any of your own gauchos. In spite of the law? He was the law here. The law was what he said it was. It is true that he believed in the old ways. What he believed, I believe. In what? The law of the knife? The right of a man to settle his own wrongs, defend his own honor. Or friends. That was your father's creed. He was a great man for his time. But the past is dead, Martine. The day of the individual leader is gone. We're a nation now, and we must learn new ways. My father gave you schooling as a privilege. Your children will have it as a right. Yes, to learn the soft ways of the foreigner. You can't fight history, Martine. The man I killed was a fool, but he talked better sense than this. Well, I can't force you to understand. I will think about it. You're in jail. You won't have to stay in jail. I was able to convince Captain Huerta that the fight was forced on you. You will be allowed to enlist in the army with the other minor offenders. Thank you. I don't want your gratitude, only your understanding. Well, I am grateful. When your enlistment is up, you'll always have a place with me, if you want it. Go with God. Go with God. So that's your patron. I've seen his kind before. Foreign clothes, foreign ideas, out of the gutters of Europe. I'd like to cut his heart out and spit on his grave. Listen, my friend. He is my patron. And no one else speaks against him. Yes, but that kind of talk... He talks like a fool, but he's my brother, understand? Yes. Now play. On the trail, on the trail, your mother keeps you in. But sweetheart, just ask her what your dead father did.
attention! May the Salinas will inspect you. You expect me to make soldiers out of these jail sweepings? Most of you consider yourselves fortunate to be allowed to serve in the militia instead of in prison. My job is to teach you to be soldiers. Yours is simply to obey my commands instantly without question. If you remember this, you will not regret the time you spend in the army. If you do not, you will be given reason to wish you had chosen to remain in jail. Who is this one with Condor's eyes? Another gaucho, eh? A barbarian from the Pampa. Well, gaucho, what are you here for? Robbery? Banditry? Murder? Oh, yes. The protege of the influential Don Miguel Aldeando, national deputy, who is to be treated with special consideration. <laughs> I ask no favors. Well spoken, Gaucho. You've learned the first rule of soldiering. It will be a pleasure to teach you the rest. Recruits! Come in. Careful with that tray. That'll do, Sergeant. Yes, sir. Most soldiers like this duty. Food's better. I've lost my appetite. You know why I had you assigned to it? It's very clear. As a student of history, I find you interesting. I remind myself that it was with a handful of men just like you that the father of our country, General San Martin, crossed the Andes and liberated half a continent. His gallant was fought for freedom, not against it. You've misread your history. A soldier's freedom is the freedom to obey. Button that to me. They chose to be soldiers. I didn't. I'm here because I killed a man. Well, I have no moral objection to killing, which after all is my trade, but it too should be a matter of discipline. Some think it should be a matter of honor. Honor's a word with many meanings. If you're afraid of burning your hands, use a napkin. You are a fool, Gaucho. I told you to use a napkin. Sergeant! Require a less clumsy servant. Yes, sir. Give this man ten lashes and return him to his company. Yes, sir. What charge shall I enter in the book, sir? Charge him with willful misunderstanding of history. Yes, sir. Come on. He cuts you deep with the lash. My back will heal. Good morning, Major. Well done, Gaucho. We can teach you nothing of horses. But you have much to learn of discipline. A soldier like a horse needs breaking before it can be useful. No, but have you shot?
rooster is crowing for his chickens. Let him split his throat. I'm not going back. You mean you're going to desert? Yes. Brother, I'm not any fonder of the Major than you are, but you know what'll happen if he catches you. I know what'll happen if I stay. Don't look so unhappy. Men have deserted before this. And men have been caught and shot before this. I won't be caught. Where will you go? They say there are gauchos in the mountains with the Indians. Our enemies, brother. You know the old saying, a starving steer will eat bitter grass. Go with God. If you're sure you know what you're doing, Martin. I'm very sure. I already have the blood of one man on my hands. I don't want his as well. And go with God. I thought I'd thank God for a man's death. <laughs> Where'd he capture you? The Aldeando Estancia. I was visiting there. Don Miguel Aldeando? Yes. You know Miguel? Did the Indians attack the Estancia? No. I was riding alone. I thought they were gauchos. Riding alone? What was Miguel thinking of to let you ride alone? I didn't ask his permission. Then you're the fool. Perhaps you'd better take me to your commanding officer. I have no commanding officer. What do you mean? There are no soldiers within 20 leagues of here. I'm a deserter. I didn't understand. And I'm asking myself what I can do with you. I can't take you to the mountains, and I can't leave you here either. If I follow the water courses, Downhill, Do you know where you are? No. You know how far it is to the Estancia? Or even its direction? Please. Leave me alone. Just go. Come on, I'll take you back.
happen to... <laughs> no, of course you wouldn't. What? I was going to ask you for a hair ribbon. Here, use that. Thank you. How long have I been asleep? All night traveling and all morning here. It's afternoon now. And you? Enough. Where are we? We passed the forts last night. This is where the pompa begins. You love the pompa, don't you? A foolish question, since you know the answer. At first, I was angry when you called me a fool, because I didn't think it was true. You've done well enough for a city girl. Thank you. You won't mind if I tell Miguel what you've done. Tell him anything you like. You see, I know who you are. You must be Martin, the one he calls brother, who went to the army. Did he tell you why? Yes. Then you know that I've killed. I have reason to be grateful that you can kill. Pompa Ostrich is a gaucho's brother and as tough as leather. Sorry, brother. Don't you mean sister? No, brother. With ostriches, the male hatches the egg. Better sleep. We ride early to reach the Estancia before dawn. After tonight, we won't see each other again. No. Tell me about your estate. My estate? The Pampa. <laughs> you talk as if you owned it. Every gaucho owns it. Or did. Tell me. I've never known anything else, or wanted to. I've been north with the cattle drives, hundreds of leagues, to Tucumán, the old Spanish city, to the high plains, to Salta, where the palm trees are as thick as grass. And once to the Chaco, the great brown rivers come down from the jungles. There, the heat sucks the air from your lungs. Flies cover the horses like a living poncho. Once, when I was a boy, I rode south with my father to Patagonia, the cold country, where the wind sweeps the pampa like the broom of God. We went where no Christian had ever set foot. The Indians caught us coming back. They killed my father. I escaped to the head of a lance in my leg. But this is a real pampa. Here, Cordova, Buenos Aires, Entre Rios, Santa Fe. Here a man can ride a hundred leagues without turning his horse's head. This is the land God gave the gaucho. Now these foreigners and city men have taken it away. And Miguel, who was my brother. I've said too much. Only fools talk. Only fools lock up what is in their hearts. 
It is right that men should talk of what they love and that women should listen. On the Pampa, we have a saying. No matter how she smiles, a woman is a woman. And there's another, and another, up to the number of the stars. We should sleep. Very well. Good night, Martine. Good night. Teresa. Good night. I want you to have this. Please take it, Martine. What is it? Santa Teresa, my patroness. You must pray to her. And when you do, think of me. It's stronger than it looks. Go with God. Go with God. This one away. I'm buying a horse, not vulture bait. Well, I didn't think you'd be fool enough to let yourself be caught. You should have known I'd send a patrol to the Estancia. You got anything to say in your own defense? I'd rather save my breath than so few are left to me. Good. You'd disappoint me if you begged for your life. This is one of pure blood, Major. Ah, he's a flashy type, isn't he? How much? 300 pesos. What do you think, Gancho? The horse is unsound. He's been lame in the off four, won't go lame again the first time you run him. I bought the stallion only last week. I don't want the Major to think that I'm... Uh, that you're uh, a cheat? Of course you're a cheat, I expect it. Just as I expect a gaucho, to be honest. It'd be a pity to shoot you. I think so, too. You see, gaucho, I have a higher opinion of you than you have of yourself. I still think I can make a soldier of you. Sergeant Gomez! Up, Sergeant. I don't want his bones broken. Comfortable, Gacho? I've slept in worse beds. Well, when you've had enough, call me. My window is the sky, but for one look through yours, 
I would lie down and die. By all means, Mr. Deputy, report me if you wish, but I'm inclined to think the Minister of War will uphold a soldier in the simple exercise of his duty. It can't be your duty to torture him. It's my duty to shoot him. What do you hope to gain by this? A disciplined soldier, one who will obey my orders as he would the word of God. Perhaps if I talked to him, made him understand the need for discipline. You're welcome to try. Soldier, give him water. for this. You believe him? I certainly don't believe in torture, but... You listen. From now on, if I live, I fight only for my own. Do you understand that, brother? For the gotcha. Your father said, before he died, Trouble coming. Find a leader. If you can't find a leader, be one. Be one. Back to the Estancia. All clear at the gate. by the gate. He is a fool, but he's very gaucho. I 
interested in that. You said to call you, Major. So now it's mutiny. A fair fight, Major. Take the knife. You continue to amaze me. Did you really think I'd brawl with you like peons in a wine shop? Take the knife. I'm sorry, Gaucho. I dislike killing you, but you leave me no choice. <laughs> signs of him? No, sir. If he came this way, we must have passed him by now. We haven't passed him, sir. Move on. Soldier, I am gotcha like you. Hail, blessed Mary. What happened to you? A snake scared my horse, rolled on me, my leg. I am Valverde.
You have news? Bad news. They've given up the search. What does that mean? The trail led to the waterless desert. It's been three days. For him to be alive, it would need a miracle. He is not dead, Miguel. I have prayed for him every day and every night. God is not so cruel. If Martin needs a miracle, he will send him one. As the months passed, rumors began to sweep the Pampa. Rumors of outlaw gauchos in the mountains who struck back against their enemies. To join them went gauchos in trouble with the civil authorities. Deserters from the army. And more and more, a name came to be whispered. The name of a new leader, Valverde. Good afternoon, brother. Where are you taking all these foreigners? A labor gang for the railroad. The railroad, eh? And you? You're no foreigner. The English pay in gold. I am a poor man. Look out, the foreman. You there. Clear off. We don't want your kind about. Listen to me. Our knives are thirsty, but we will not give them drink yet. Only if you try to come back. Tell that to your brothers and your friends. And tell it to the men of the railroad when they offer you gold. If anyone asks you who told you to say it, I am Valverde. See anything? And we won't. The foreigners won't show their ugly snouts around here again for a long time. Did you ever see the locusts come over the pampa, darkening the sun, stripping every blade of grass clear to its roots? So with these people. When the locusts are gone, the grass comes again. The cattle grow fat. The gaucho has meat. These will never go. The gaucho will starve. Our time has passed, Falcone. You know what I think, my friend? What? I think you should get yourself a china. The chief, old Rosas, has a girl pretty as a Christian and... Go down and eat. I'll watch you. I'll bring you something. I'm not hungry.
This is the house. Let me help you, sir. I'll help myself, thank you. Wait here. Forgive me for intruding. Permit me to introduce myself. I'm the chief of the provincial police. My name is Salinas. Yes, the same. Since I was retired by the army, I found a new profession. Please sit down. Thank you. I will come to the point. I must ask you if you can tell me anything of Martin Penalosa. Martin is dead. Almost everyone thinks so. Until quite recently, I was sure of it myself. But have you ever heard of a man who calls himself Valverde? The outlaw? Yes. What has he to do with Martin? Probably nothing. But Valverde, the real Valverde, was a man of some 50 years, well-known in Cordoba. A man of no education and low taste. Valverde the outlaw is a much younger man. Intelligent, educated, ruthless, who appeared as Valverde shortly after Martin Penalosa disappeared, leaving no trace. Could be anyone. Not anyone. Few gauchos would have the imagination to do what this Valverde has done. Brilliance in planning, quality of leadership. Why did you come here? You and I both have reasons if different ones, for wishing him alive. Forgive me for disturbing you. Might work, might not. Dear Maria, you are of gaucho blood. By the grace of God, you have heard of the outlaw Valverde. Who has not? They say he has many friends. I know nothing. You're a poor liar, dear Maria. You are lying, aren't you? Major Salinas was right. It is Martin. Oh, dear Maria, are you trying to protect him from me? Can't you see where the real danger is? Can you reach him? Can you get a message to him? Perhaps I can do better than that. Captured and shot. <laughs> Come on. 
Come on. Val Verde wants a word with you. And I got a word or two of my own. And so is Julio. No, Julio? I always make the mistake of underestimating you. Well, Gaucho, haven't you anything to say? Julio can say it for me. In cold blood? Last time you offered me a fair fight. Times have changed. Val Verde isn't so squeamish. Well, what are you waiting for? Surely you don't expect me to plead for my life. No. I'd be disappointed. Then I must run the risk of disappointing you. I do plead for it. I humbly beg you for it. You have something to do with your life? Yes. You have left me only one arm, but it will still hold a pistol. I want to live until the day I have you squarely in my pistol sights. And I promise you, if you're fool enough to spare me, that day will come. Not with this pistol, Major. It's not important. Aren't you going to shoot him? No. But you heard him. Yes, I heard him. He's more of a man with one arm than some of us with two. I'm grateful, but you have made a mistake. We will see. You have a long walk before you. Go with God. Go with the devil. Blindfold them and bring them to camp. I didn't ask you to come here. Then I will go. Knowing the location of our camp? If you don't trust me, why don't you blindfold me again? I suppose I can trust the old woman. She's Anselmo's mother-in-law. Thank you for trusting Anselmo's mother-in-law. Please, I want to go. For me, give me one of these Indian women. They ask nothing more than to be beaten three times a day. my message? If the governor wants federal troops, let him write to the Minister of War himself. We thought that you, as national deputy, actually on the scene in Buenos Aires, and in view of the special circumstances. What circumstances, Major? A lovely and prominent young lady has been kidnapped. For two weeks, there's been no word of her. It's created quite a scandal, and a good deal of speculation as to your own position. My position, Major, will be dictated only by what I consider to be my duty. I quite understand. Very well. I will tell the Minister of War that the provincial police are incapable of dealing with a handful of bandits. Thank you, sir. I'm very grateful. One moment, Major. These men are outlaws, but they are also Argentines. 
and in their own way patriots. They are to be taken without bloodshed, if possible, and brought back for trial. I understand. Be sure you do. Benedicat vos omnipotens Deus, Pater et Filius et Spiritus Sanctus. Amen. Father Fernandez was our first teacher. Miguel and I. Good morning, Father. Don't you know me, Father? Yes. You are from Don Silvano's Estancia. They call you Martin. This is Senorita Chavez. I have heard the name. Will you marry us? Well? I would gladly marry Martin, but Valverde presents a different problem. You are gaucho. And therefore can be counted on to defy the law? This is God's business, not the law's. True, I'm called an outlaw. True! You have blood on your hands. God be my witness, I've never killed save in fair fight. And who judged these fights fair? The God whose name you take so freely? Father. Yes? He has killed, yes. But he is not evil. You know that he will end his career up against a wall? Boom, boom, boom. I know that I love him. I don't love him. Must I too condone his sins? Surely the duty of a priest is... Oh, you are worse than he is. At least he doesn't try to instruct me in my duty. You there! Stop that! How can a man think with all that noise? Go! But you're right. I can't refuse to marry you. Now? First the confession. Take that off. Wait here. How long is it since your last confession? Gaucho? Three years, more or less. Hmm. We will be some time. Troops headed for the mountains. They're not looking for us here. Look! Isn't that holster army issue? There's been a lot of thieving. You there! Are those your horses? Yes, Lieutenant. What are you doing with an army pistol? Well? Are you done? Come! I'm sorry, Father. Come on.
federal troops. Our best chance will be over the mountains into Chile before the snows close the passes. We can get mules from the Indians. There'll be work for a gaucho in Chile. We can be married there. And this I promise you. My knife stays in its sheath for as long as I live. this, but I thought once we were safe in Chile. Teresa, a child? You're happy. What man wouldn't be happy? It's all right. We can go on. No, we can't make it. But what... what we'll have to go back. I have some friends among the Indians. Perhaps we can go south, beyond the frontier. We'll camp here for the night.
It is late. You must sleep. Was it for us that you prayed? For the one who cannot pray for himself. Our child? He will not be our child, Martin. That is why I prayed for forgiveness. Because he will have no name? Is that what you mean? How can he? If we're to live among savages, without a priest. We will give him a name. We'll go down to the Pampa, see Father Fernandez. We can't. You'll be killed. They're looking for you everywhere. They've been looking for me a long time. The police and half the army. They haven't taken me yet, and they never will. But you can't. Sleep now. We'll turn back as soon as he is light. We are in thy hands now. Keep her safe. She has meant thee no wrong. I'm sure we'll find him here. There's a funeral. Wait here. I tell you, I must see him. I'm sorry, but he's at his prayers. Take me to him, or his next prayer will be at your funeral. What is it? Who is raising his voice here? Leave this place. We want no violence here. Father, I am everything you say I am. But do not send me away until you've heard me. Not Valverde. Martin. Very well, Martin. You may speak. Take her out. 
You must go. This way. See that she comes to no harm. Yes. Hurry. I'll get word to her. This is the house of God. Come in. Oh, come in, Miguel. Where's Martine? I don't know. I've just come from Father Fernandez. He told me everything. Where is he, Teresa? Please, Miguel. You won't help him by lying. Listen to me. I've been to the governor. If Martine surrenders now, he will serve only a short sentence. No more than three years. Under the circumstances, I think it's a generous offer. Three years in prison? He will have to pay his debt, but afterwards he'll be free. Do you understand? Completely free, with the slate wiped clean. You don't know him, do you? I didn't either at first. But now that I've lived with him, as his wife, I think I understand him a little bit better than I did. He's not like us, Miguel. With him, freedom isn't just an idea in the mind. It's in his blood, part of his whole being. You couldn't any more cage him than, than you could cage the... Pump a wind. Let me put it to him directly for his own answer. Let me give him his real choice. Unless he surrenders of his own free will, they're going to hunt him down like a wild animal. Salinas will see to that. Tell me where he is. I can't, Miguel. I have no right. Then you're condemning him to his death. Give me time to send Salinas word to Salinas is wasting no time. Oh. If you really love him, Teresa. <laughs> You can protect him from Salinas? Of course. And no one else will know? You can trust me. You understand that if he refuses to meet your terms, I will wait for him and go wherever he says and lead the kind of life he chooses for us, whatever it is, and however little time it lasts. I understand. He's on your estancia, though of Florencio. At the cattle camp, beyond the river. The place you call Santa Elena. Thank you, my dear. You won't regret this. Stay out of sight. Is he here? How did you find me? That's unimportant. Martine, listen to me. This is your last chance. Sergeant. Keep your squad here and cover this side. The rest of you, follow me. Well, if you can't think for yourself, then think for Teresa and your unborn child. Are they free? I'll take care of them. How? By condemning them to live as fugitives, hunted, never knowing when they'll see you shot down? Do you brother. call that freedom? Do you want to build this freedom of yours on the ruin of their lives? You're a little late, your friends. Martin, wait! <laughs>
I knew you'd come. Miguel is dead. I know. Florencio rode in last night to tell me. He told you how he died? Yes. He was born in Gaucho. He died like one. When we were boys out on the Pampa, he used to love to see the sunrise. He said it was God giving us a glimpse of his heaven. Now he's seen it all. Riding all night, thinking. You must think of yourself now. I have been. I didn't like my thoughts. One by one, I destroyed them. All of my friends. Because I was the fool who wouldn't listen. Who couldn't understand. Miguel tried to tell me. And you. Even Salinas, in his way, tried to tell me. All of you were right. I was wrong. It does no good to blame yourself. What's past is past. You must think of the present. Salinas is sure to find out you're here. We've got to go away, now. Where? First to the city. I have friends there who'll hide us. Till we can get passage on a boat. To Brazil or to Europe. Are you still afraid? For you. Miguel wasn't. The last thing he said to me, the last words he ever spoke were these. You can't build your freedom on the ruin of other people's lives. He meant that no man can be free who destroys what he loves. Now here's what you must do. At noon, come to the cathedral, alone. Martin. Where are you going? Trust me, my wife. Be there. You sent for me, Father? Are you a Christian, Major? I call myself one. Then you know that our master taught us that the greatest of all virtues is mercy. You're a priest. I'm a soldier. And a soldier cannot forgive his enemies? There are some things no man can forgive. True. None of us can be as strong as he was. We are human and therefore weak. Did you call me here to lecture me on my weaknesses? No, Major to give you a chance to prove your strength. As Martin is proving his strength, he comes here of his own free will, unarmed, without companions. Why? Because he owes it to his friend, who died for him. It is a reason a soldier should be able to understand. There is no more to be said, Major. It is for you to decide. Well, Gaucho, I'll be ready to go with you after the ceremony. I can wait. Major. Let it be remembered, Major. I came to her a free man. <laughs> 